Wesleyan Church has almost 400,000 members worldwide and almost as many adherents. What's the difference? Well, at the most basic level, members are people who have chosen to align themselves officially with the Wesleyan Church, sharing a belief in core teachings, accepting a structure of organization and accountability, and committing to grow together in it. Adherents are people who attend local Wesleyan churches, but may not find themselves in complete agreement with the beliefs or practices of the Wesleyan Church, or have a desire to commit to being Wesleyans. Now, that does not mean that they aren't Christians or they aren't saved, and many adherents are a vital part of their local church communities. So why have membership if we're all Christians? We're all members of the church, if someone is part of their local church community, why aren't they members? Well, membership exists for three primary reasons. The first is a legal issue. Within North America, for example, the church is a nonprofit organization. It's, it's a charity. For the government to recognize that, the government requires certain structures be in place. A nonprofit corporation, any nonprofit corporation, has to have a board of directors and bylaws and a voting membership that makes decisions that guide the organization. Members make legal decisions about things like property and financial resources and how the organization works to accomplish its goals. If we're going to operate within government structures, we literally cannot do it without membership. Why restrict membership then? Why not just say, hey, if you show up on the day that we're voting for stuff, you're a member. Well, the next two reasons, they, they kind of roll together in that, so stick with me here. The second reason is practical. Imagine for just a second that you're part of a church with a great building and a strong congregation of 100 people. The church down the road, well, they've got 150 people, but their building is falling apart. If everyone shows up, who gets to vote, those 150 people can show up at your annual meeting, vote to have your church become part of their denomination, and pass the building onto their control. That's something that they could legally do. <laughs> they could change the bylaws of your church. They could even put into place membership requirements that exclude you from membership. That sounds nuts, but it is a real legal thing. But coming back to normal church life, that crazy scenario doesn't cover the people that call your church home without being a member of the Wesleyan Church. They're committed Christians. You know them. You love them. Why don't they get a vote? Because there is no such thing in the Wesleyan Church as local church membership. Every member, every member of the Wesleyan Church gets a say in the governance of the denomination. So there's a safeguard that's placed around that. There are certain Wesleyan beliefs, practices, teachings that make us Wesleyan. The fence is set around those beliefs because they inform the way that our faith is expressed. Just like having a local church down the road come take over your building would be nuts, having a local church that's only Wesleyan because they have Wesleyan in the name make decisions that affect the faith life of every Wesleyan from coast to coast, well, that would be kind of crazy too. Because the third reason for membership is discipleship. Wesleyan means something. It's an expression of identity that says this is us together. Uh, what a Wesleyan does in Indiana affects how a Wesleyan is perceived in New York. It's like our family name. As members, we can hold ourselves and each other accountable, encouraging each other, supporting each other, and, and warning each other if we're heading into dangerous territory. Becoming a member means committing to developing our faith in community. It means becoming part of the family. It means investing ourselves in a growing relationship with God, with Wesleyans across the country and all over the world. Members of the Wesleyan Church are unified around a set of core beliefs and have chosen to belong to each other as they seek God together as they share his love together and together grow to be all that God made us to be.